just continue to wrap those little pieces around. This is pretty straight up here. We'll just make one more cut here. Okay. Got a little extra hanging over back here. You can go ahead and just trim that off. Take your fingers and shove it down in there. All right, so now we're done all the way down the side of the truck. The only thing remaining is behind the back tire. And we'll, uh, we'll do that and then we'll have this side completed. Now that we're in the back of the truck here, we've got the front done, we're gonna do the back. There's no molding here to give you a guideline. So what I've done is I've just measured from the pinstriping down. And I've taken a couple little pieces of camo clad and just measured down 20 and 3 quarter inches, so we're at the same height all the way along. You can eyeball it if you want. I just I just measured this to make sure we've got it exactly the same. Then you'll take your piece of camo clad. You don't need this whole length, so just find yourself a piece that's long enough and just trim it off with a pair of scissors close to the size you need. And then you're ready to lay this up right underneath these marks. Just pull your backing off and lay it across there. There we go. All the way across. Take your squeegee, same as before. Get it stuck down and just work your way right down the side of the truck. There's a couple different ways you can do it back here by the bumper. You can wrap it around behind it using the same kind of relief cuts that we used behind the cab. Or you can just trim it off at a nice smooth angle. Really, uh, the getting behind the bumper is, is kind of tough. But, uh, you know, if you want that camel look all the way around the back, you can do that. Or if you want, you can trim that off first and get that edge to look nice with the contour of your bumper before you even stick it on. And then you don't have to do any trimming once it's on there. I'll show you how to do it with the, uh, where we're going to wrap it around the bumper. A little more difficult, but we'll, uh, we'll do that. Basically just that relief cut that we did before on the back of the cab. All right, so we've got that piece stuck down. And we just, like before, we'll just trim this off. Go ahead and take your squeegee and just wrap that on around. And then you can turn your attention back here to the to the back where the relief cuts will be. Now, as this thing begins to curve upwards and downwards, there's going to have to be a relief cut made so that this thing will lay down flat. So as you see that material want to gather up on you, and just make that relief cut. And what I'll do is I will work, I'm gonna work these relief cuts up around this, this bottom piece, like just right up around this corner. Because as you get back to here, that material will start to gather up. And you can see it's gonna wrinkle up on me. So what I'm gonna do is just make these relief cuts and lay this, these pieces down. Once again, what I want to do, since this is since this is the behind the back tire, I want to lay these cuts down first, so that that they overlap each other, so that the mud and debris coming off of the tire is not going to go inside of them. So I'm going to lay these down first, and then the next one will cover it, and it'll work just like the shingles as the water and the mud comes off the back of the tire here. So 
So that's what we'll do. We'll just lay this in here. And then as we go up this other side, we'll do it in just the reverse order. So we'll just lay this over here. Lay the next one down. One right after the other. This one here, I gotta cut it just a little bit farther. All right, now we've got all these laying down. We're just gonna trim this off just inside this back edge here so that they don't hang over the back of the uh, truck. 